hello guys welcome to my channel ace feed i'm ace authentic today we're going to draw this cartoon lady which i'm naming kate and it's going to be done in this free open source software called creator so this is the creator user interface i'm just gonna start drawing very quickly um select the create new file and once you're in the in your creator you could go to the left side of your screen select that presser tool adjust on top i do uh, the brush size um okay so i was listening to some music let me just move that okay good we're in um you could add a layer have two layers and don't forget to go to the color selector triangle and select um select break as your main color so right now you could start drawing by just pressing a line where you want it to be and bending it where you want it to bend so right now i'm making an eye um, I'm taking my time here because um, it's all about the eyes because you have seen the drawing itself it's about how cute she looks so this video it's um, 18 it's 24 minutes uh, it's part one I'm gonna have part two where I was coloring her and all that so they are just finished connecting the eye you need to take your time on this one because sometimes it may be very hard for you to um, get the outcome that you want so there i was taking my time i was taking my time if i would make a mistake i was able to go back and just delete it and you could see there that i was trying my very best to not make a mistake because with this line what it does is that you just move it around you have seen most of my videos they have this kind of thing i just move it around like i press where i want the line to be and once I double click it's it's when you can sort it so I don't have a drawing tablet right now but then this actually helps me to draw accurate um, accurate stuff as you can see also there I was drawing not on the first layer the first layer is actually the one which starts is the default one and it has a white background I'm not drawing on the white background I'm drawing on the layer that we made the second layer which is on top so this one is literally transparent like what I'm doing here I'm doing it on a transparent background because if I would um, choose to only review the layer that I'm drawing on you could actually see that it's actually on a transparent background but we'll check that later so there I've just finished the paper you could be watching this and be doing your own let, let me add a new layer there and then drop it down below okay so um, I've added a new layer and then drop it down below there um, I'm doing this it's live I'm not speeding anything up so I've selected the um, the selected tool also on the left side this selected tool, what it does is that it can help you isolate the line that you want to be isolated so there I was retracing um, what I had drawn I was retracing the black lines that I had drawn so that I could easily color them so this was the process that I was doing I would easily color them if I would retrace them so I was retracing there I was retracing you could see um, wherever I want the line to bend it's basically the same process and if I would make the, those lines meet um, okay let's select uh, press B on your uh, on your keyboard or you could select um, you could say brush on, on on the left side so again you could also increase the brush stroke so that you could color that in once you color that in select the triangle tool and select and select so if you have made a mistake you could also just press and do and then go back and then make sure that you color everything in nicely so there you go guys we have just colored um we have tried to color we have colored the um the pupil by uh coloring by creating a, a fed layer which we put in between the layers that we had and then we just colored that layer and um it, it's showing us the color um of the eye so i was doing this day by day as in coloring the eye instantly just because i wanted this to appeal to everybody because sometimes whenever you're drawing and then you're coloring uh you're drawing at the very end it it doesn't actually uh look well and i'm deliberately doing this because i want you guys to see how interesting this is um once you i connect that again and once i connect these dots i'm gonna do the same thing um i'm gonna select the brush and then just color that in just make sure that i press on the keyboard and then after that i, I select the triangle tool i select the square tool sorry and then select deselect or select also so that i could actually be able to move around so they are still on the there i'm still on the second rare i'm thinking yes it's still on the second rare okay so um 
I've chosen to select uh, um, the white color the white color so that I could just add that effect in the, the, the eye um, I've selected the I'm still on the second layer the second layer that, that is in between the first layer that we had and and, and um, the second layer that we made so then I'm trying to increase the black um, I'm trying to increase the brush capacity and then again um, I've chosen to select the top layer so okay so i've chosen to take the top layer so what i'm doing here on the top layer is that i'm doing this as an um outline i'm doing this as an outline this is where i draw my outline um if i don't draw on this layer it's um i'm gonna find it very hard to color i just draw this as as an outline where i just make the lines and i use the second layer which is in between the background and the outline itself as my um as my coloring or, or i call them a code color like sometimes it's like skin so this is what um Krita does it's uh for me better than photoshop so i was trying um i just made um an i an irish an irish um so there again i've done the same process i've selected the second layer and now i'm retracing what i've drawn so retracing here helps us to um retracing here helps us to um to color only the inside of the um of the irish so there you go i've just cut that in and then the color is on the second layer and not necessarily on the outline because if i'm coloring on the outline i'm gonna find it a bit difficult um if i want to do some other things so whenever i'm trying to draw whenever i'm trying to draw an outline i just go back to um selecting the top layer and then drawing on the top layer creating lines on the top layer so i call it making an outline so there guys um we have successfully made one eye and i'm starting to draw the other eye and i'm thinking okay and um, this is a digital drawing sometimes you you just don't do everything yourself you just have to think uh through it like okay should i be doing this should i be uh drawing an eye again and uh, would be nice if i tried uh, to draw an eye so most of the times it's really really not that uh, that great if you want to try to draw an eye again so um i'm thinking there i was trying to make a nose uh, you could zoom in by loading your mouse wheel you could zoom in by loading your mouse wheel or selecting zoom in zoom out at the bottom right hand side where you see the brushes there there is um where you could just drag um that bar you could drag it forward and then it zooms in you could drag it backwards it zooms out okay so i was making a noise you could actually see i was taking my time because this was a very sensitive drawing one of the most sensitive drawings i've ever done okay so once i double click that and i get the uh thing that i wanted the nose that i wanted make sure on top there you are um if ever you are, you want to connect if ever you want to have a nice solid uh outline a nice solid um, outline you could always choose to go with uh, pixel size of 2.75 um that's one uh, 2.74 2.75 that's like one of the nicest and if you uh, increase it a bit the um if you increase it a bit you actually see that uh, some of the strokes are very thin are very thick sorry they're very thick so you don't actually need very thick strokes because it makes the drawing a little bit weird there i did i did it, i did that deliberately because i wanted it to look um as if um you know cartoonish in a way and um, so that's why that's why i increased um the stroke size a bit to uh, um more than uh usual more than normal so let's um loading that off you should just select the brush and then select the eraser and that that will turn your, your brush into an eraser so you could just retrace back to your outline and remove all the unnecessary lines so there you have your once you've done that you will have your um uh, nose uh you have your nose so make sure you remember to uh, to select again the eraser so that uh your brush shouldn't actually be an eraser anymore that's how you undo the erasing effect okay so um right now just looking at the things um i'm thinking okay you've done also a great job where you are because this is how i did mine so let me just go back to selecting there so that we could start i'm um, thinking here drawing uh, the lip so um i'm not choosing any strokes or lines because maybe you might have been accustomed to drawing on um 
you might be you might have been a Christian drawing whilst you're looking at uh, grid references grid lines um, uh, this is uh, per se I have to say uh, it was a very perfect drawing that came out uh, of just a blank um, blank space so there I'm creating um, the lips you could see there you could see the gentle be gentle body take your time take your time I know it may be frustrating but if you're using a drawing tablet if, if you're privileged enough to have a drawing tablet I'm pretty much sure that this is like um, very easy and smooth work uh, but I don't have a drawing tablet so I have to take my time and if you find it very hard to bend the lines like the way I was doing there I was finding it a very hard time so I just zoomed in so that I could have the desired curve that I wanted so even there I was a little bit struggling um, but I kind of managed it a bit so um let's let's hope nothing 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 um bad happens okay so you could always zoom in by loading your mouse wheel okay so we have connected the uh, lip and it, it has now uh, become solid so this is what we wanted so we could actually go back to um do the lower lip and other stuff so um you could always you could also choose to increase the um the bright stroke or decrease the bright stroke or even kill kill um put it on constant or just leave it uh, the way it was it's up to you but if you want to get the desired effect i suggest uh, you try maybe to increase uh, the um the uh, stroke size a bit because it's a lower lip and we're trying to get this illusion where we, we're creating this um stunning cute character so we we have to get uh, a lot of things like here so um i'm thinking that i can increase the um, the brush uh, stroke uh, the size so okay we have done the lip we it looks like it, uh, it looks as if we have done the lip so um, i'm just uh, trying to i just like readjusted that back in so we want to start um doing her um light eye light light eye how oh, we call it eye high ear yeah i um light ear sorry okay so it's like the chip uh the chick so everything has to to, to be perfect here because uh, that, that's what will give us uh, that's what will give her the cuteness that she um had uh, that she has because you you saw the video that was like the preview of the drawing that we are making right now and it's been 12 minutes uh learning to 30 minutes was doing this video you're pretty much tired and pretty much bored um i'm just going on and on talking without no end in sight um i'm gonna stop soon though but this is very important you need to get this right you need to get this right you just need to get this right because um if you mess it up if you mess it up she's gonna have a horrible chin she's gonna she's gonna um not look pretty as, as as she has she's supposed to look so um there i was drawing the um i was trying i gave her some earrings so you could just bend the lines uh, however you want here or you could just follow what i'm doing for what i'm doing here because uh the outcome is just gonna give a simple um alien to uh yeah if it's an it's an earring okay so yeah it's an earring okay so um there and then the ear itself um it's supposed to be easy because uh she's gonna have long hair she's gonna have long hair it's gonna pass through that and you do, you're not supposed to stress yourself um a lot you're not supposed to stress yourself very much if you, you're doing this because um it's like the the hair is gonna pass by this so you know if hair is gonna pass by this it's gonna be okay so you could also just stretch your hand out there stretch your mouse that is uh just to try to reach uh, uh reach the change stroke size so that maybe you could just have the desired effect that you want on on, on the changed um on the uh stroke that you want the thickness of the stroke so it's all about uh timing it's all about knowing where where you're going and maybe sometimes you may use references as uh, maybe whenever you're watching this video you could just use it as reference because we want to make something that is cute so there are still still doing the ear and i made a mistake once you made a mistake you could press control z on the keyboard or just go back and press delete so um still trying uh, to create that, that desired thing that i wanted and and um i'm thinking that uh 
you're looking at it and then it is like a mistake as such so uh, what I want to do is just a bright dot somewhere there okay we got it so I'm, 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 I'm zooming in and zooming out using the mouse wheel zooming in zooming out using the mouse wheel don't forget to adjust don't forget to adjust your brush your brush size so okay we we're now uh we're not gonna try to do the left eye the left eye so there you go um you could be doing that with the left eye it's gonna be a little bit smaller than the other eye because uh, she's like looking sideways um as if she's afraid so um it's gonna be a little smaller than the um the light eye so Take your time again on this one because it's a little bit tricky once you mess this up once you mess this up your drawing is gonna look awkward your drawing is gonna look awkward so don't mess this up always take your time always take your time um we are 16 minutes in the video and we're still not done with the face we're still not done with the face because i'm uh recording this live i haven't actually cut anything i'm recording this live as the way i was doing it so we're done once we connected the lines they just grow um they just go solid and we're done um so it's time to create the um the eyelids and uh some other things so there uh just um creating like uh, a thick layer above the ear above the eye sorry I always confuse these things, I and ear, they are a little bit confusing because English is not my native language so um, I always make these confusions uh, with these things okay so there I was taking my time again you have to take your time you have to take your time this is drawing you're creating an, you're creating art and you have to know that um, the longer you take at something the more it's it's likely going to look beautiful so it, this is one of the, the those drawings that I took forever doing and I'm not speeding anything up so it's also gonna take you forever to run what I was doing so then make sure you have the desired curve that you want because at the end of this all we want to have a very cute looking eye uh, similar to the one that we have made so once I link the, those up they became solid understand that we're doing this on the top layer understand that we're doing this on the top layer understand that we're doing this on the top layer because uh, on the layer that we're gonna do that we're doing our outline because if you're doing if you're doing this somewhere else i'm sorry you may just uh, be in some huge trouble there i've selected the seven layer and then i'm gonna start coloring because i'm gonna retrace what i've drawn and color it because um you're supposed to retrace what you've drawn and then color it okay so we're 18 minutes in the video just checking the time here um we still almost uh halfway done finish finishing the face uh once you get this face done you're gonna see um how this drawing it's it's meant to be so there i, I noticed that you could not link them up but i just had to retrace um so the part that i didn't actually retrace uh, so the more i'm i am going back slowly slowly so that i could just link it up with that line there so um you could also do the same if you're thinking that once you link that up you could fill and then just color uh, places that you don't you didn't want to color so there you go i moved my um line i moved my uh increased uh increased my brush stroke and then moved it in the line that i wanted so i'm zooming in zooming out using my mouse wheel again going back to selecting the la uh, selecting the layer that i have drawn i drew i drew i'm drawing my uh my outline so there i'm trying to draw i'm trying to draw um the pimple on the left side of the eye so there you go i was taking my time trying to get it rounded and i was thinking okay if i miss this up she might start looking like chinese she might start looking like she has an, a lazy eye she might also start looking as if she's angry you know it's the eyes that 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 um make the impression right so there we made a mistake guys we didn't i didn't um i didn't adjust the stroke size so i just uh, did a quick control z or undo then i was going back to adjusting 
in the way it's supposed to be but the right size most really the right size that i like using is 2.7 is 2.1.47 that is perfect for you and that is also perfect for me don't forget to be drawing uh your outline on the the uh, top layer because you color on the second layer and then the outline is just above what you're coloring so that's when you you, you make something that is cute that is this adorable okay so the out the pimple there looks um I, i'm thinking amazing but this just little little bit i won't make this perfect so I'm, i always take my time whenever i'm drawing and this uh to be certain i took a lot of time doing this okay so it's we're 20 minutes in the video we're 20 minutes in the video almost done like eight, eight minutes to go because this is just the first part okay so uh trying to get it rounded it's a little bit tricky because you have to select and then a little bit like drag so that you could see the line bend over and then this is where you want it to bend over so okay so um i was thinking is this the light angle that i want the eye to be does it look lazy then i was thinking okay maybe this is it so i selected the second layer where i use it for coloring i retraced my pimple and uh and i was gonna color that in by selecting brush and then add, increasing again the brush size and just moving that in after that selecting the rectangle and then selecting control and then deselect so that's when i could remove and then uh, be able to free do other things okay we are 21 minutes in the video and uh okay so still on the coloring phrase you could select that white um color and select the color and select a triangle color too and then just uh, trying to give it back the same effect that the, that first eye has and if it's not light you could just actually increase try to increase the opacity and try to increase the um, sorry black stroke okay so our first is almost done it's semi done um just trying to get things right uh you can still continue just to press it light where it's supposed to belong because if you press it somewhere else uh, it's gonna look it's not gonna look cute so that is it we want this to look cute so um select again the outline uh layer and then again uh, we're gonna give her uh, some eyebrows so they're gonna be a little bit sure a little it's gonna be a little bit tricky because this is the the left uh, eye that is a little tiny so everything here is supposed to be tiny so if you're supposed to know where to you just link them up okay don't forget to like the way i forgot in here don't forget to select the black car if you forget to select the black car since we had we selected the selected two and it was on um it was on white whenever you connect the lines they're gonna be on white and they suggest that you 2.72 point four seven because that's the light um thickness for our brush stroke so um we i was doing this eyebrow it's gonna be a little bit tricky okay again we select the tracer and then we could trace that it's all about tracing really it's all about creating a stroke tracing it to car so we are 20 three minutes in the video we st we're still not done with the perfect price <laughs> and um okay once that you have done that repeat the same process color that in and once you feel that you can just be satisfied that you have colored uh, in the you've colored in the eyebrow so you could also maybe try to just go back and adjust that make sure that it's bright it's clean it's how it's supposed to be okay so we have uh we are still making it first uh it's taking us time and we're trying to make this perfect so if and then if the things aren't perfect like how they are there you could just go back and uh, try to clean them okay so we're almost done we are almost done and it's a process of course but we're almost there okay so um we're looking at it um through browsing it i think maybe yours is also looking the same if it's looking a little bit ugly uh don't mind um it might be a first time so 
um, don't mind because you don't get it right the first time. Most of, most of us actually struggle getting things right the first time. And remember, we are also using a mouse, and this is very challenging. It it, it makes the, the game a little bit harder. So, um, and today I was creating a neck. I was trying to think, okay, let's create a neck. So, always place it on a place where she's gonna look balanced. Um, make that a little bit curvy because it's a neck. Always place where she is gonna look um, as kindish as possible, as much as possible. So bend that over. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. You could always, always love things off if you have made a mistake. So we're 25 minutes in the video, and we're still not done with the first. <laughs> Um, this must must be the longest story we have ever watched, but we're trying to make this perfect, and this is just part one. But, but we're trying to make this perfect. It's part one. We're trying to make it perfect. Okay, so uh, take your time. Take your time. The neck must look awesome, like how my neck is looking like. She's gonna wear a top, and it's, the top is also gonna be slightly complicated. Uh, you will see how the top is done. Uh, Okay, so add that in because we, we, we want to make her dress uh, into a top because you saw in the preview, you saw in the introductory part that she was dressing in this cute pinkish um, top, so that was how the top uh, was drawn and it's been drawn, so you could actually just do that on your own. So, okay, so coloring, making some lines on the top requires you to um, select uh, a less figure brush stroke and just get those lines done and it's a very slow brutal process I'm not gonna show you everything here so this is where maybe I must try it so this is a very slow delicate process uh, you could curve the lines a bit and just bend them over like that because we want to create an illusion where she's dressed uh, in a, in a um, she's dressed in a um, sweater, a pink sweater. So this is, this is a very slow brutal process. So I, um, I think it's um, it's recommendable if I end the first part of the tutorial right here because it's a very um, uh, intense drawing and um, I'm thinking I'm gonna end the tutorial right here. This is part one. Um, and there are more parts coming in at the end of this um, tutorial we're gonna make you and I we're going to make Katie and you're gonna see how she came out using this free open source software called creator so bye for now I'm hoping that you subscribe to follow through whatever I'm doing right here because this is just end of part one have a great day have <laughs> Have a great day guys, I'm sorry for that, I, I'm still struggling with my English to be honest because I'm not um, a native speaker so you, yeah I've been I've been struggling a little bit uh, to, just to say the words that I want to say and to have them come out the way I want them to come out. Anyways have a great day and um, um, be back for more. Cold and losing my control Your light is gone And lonely darkness fill my soul I wish that you could save me From my eyes